Let's talk about some information that indicates that Africa is in support of de-dollarization. De dollarization is something that is currently going on in the world. A lot of countries are looking for alternative to dollar. I want to talk about two points actually, and you can contribute as well because there are a lot of points that maybe perhaps I might not be able to mention because I don't know. So you might know and you can contribute and leave a comment. The first thing really has to do with the fact that, you know, Africa now have, you know, pan-African, you know, payment system. So which countries in Africa, they can use that system to be able to, you know, do transaction, you know, between one another African countries. As you know, there are 54 countries, you know, in Africa. So, you know, this country, they can just use this online, you know, payment system uh, to be able to, you know, do transaction in their local currency. And African leaders, they are promoting, you know, this uh, Pan-Africa. We also need to facilitate trade by making it possible for business people to be able to transact their goods, their services without the unnecessary complications in changing currencies. That is why we want the Pan-African payment system that is going to assist African business people to be able to trade and move goods and services better. And well, it's still really very new. So it was set up in 2022. So, but you know, this is something that actually suggests to me that you know Africa are in support of dollarization. So they simply want to make um, you know transaction in their local uh, you know their local currency instead of uh, using dollar. I mean, as we know that you know majority of you know large percentage of you know transaction in the world global trade is done in dollars and also you know a lot of countries of the world they have their you know foreign reserve they have them in dollars well one of the reasons why a lot of countries are looking for alternative to dollars where well, is because sometimes they are sanctioned by you know the world leader like america you know and when they are looking to do all these their uh, sanction it tend to be you know dollar that they use as a tool well dollar is definitely certainly one of the tools that they use for you know sanction so which means that you know all a lot of countries are kind of like a hard enough of you know all these um, dollar and then, you know, when you have, um, you know, your currency, I mean, America in this uh, situation to American dollar, so it just means that whoever own this, you know, this particular, uh, you know, uh, currency that is being used, you know, for trans global transaction, that means that country is the one that is benefiting from it most. So, which means that in a lot of countries, just really, they just want, you know, they want to, uh, to use uh, either their, uh, local currency to do transaction or just use you know whatever an alternative that is available so and another you know point to really raise the, the fact that you know why africa why i believe that africa is in support of the dollarization is uh, so BRICS. so BRICS is really trending and BRICS is the big thing now in the world and you know we know uh, South Africa is a member of BRICS, so which really means that I mean, it's not the whole of Africa. Again, 54 countries in Africa is not the whole of Africa that is a member of BRICS. Yeah, it's only South Africa, but you know, BRICS are looking to uh, to hard to include new member to uh, to uh, to the group. So, which really means that a lot of countries in Africa are interested, especially the big uh, player in Africa. You know, South Africa, obviously, a big player in Africa is already there and Egypt is already a member of BRICS New Development Bank so they are almost like equivalent of um, IMF or something like that. I mean there are still some issues in terms of like the, the funding of the bank but you know having said that you know Egypt definitely is a member already so um, which means that you know they are definitely one of the countries that are interested in joining BRICS as well. So, and Ethiopia have shown interest as well, and there are other countries in Africa that have shown interest, so which means that, you know, and one of the big uh, thing about uh, BRICS is that they are really um, interested in having their own currency. Nobody really know how that is going to work yet, um, so, but definitely 
Briggs is interested in their currency and there have been rumored as whether well you know they are looking for a currency that will be backed by gold how that is going to work out nobody really know everything is the all uh, speculation so but in terms of africa definitely i think you know africa is in support of uh, the dollarization because of um, you know uh, BRICS is one point and also the Pan-African, uh, you know, payment system. So, and uh, yeah, that, that's the two major points for me, really. So, but uh, if there's any other point that you think, you know, uh, just indicates, any other point you think indicates that Africa is in support of digitalization, just leave in the comment box below and uh, just share your thought. Introducing PAPS, the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System, supported by Afrexian Bank, the African Union and the AFCFTA that's connecting cross-border payments in Africa today. Linking banks, payment service providers, governments and fintechs making intra-African trade faster, more affordable, more inclusive and supporting our shared vision to be one unified market under the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Overcoming the fragmentation that created new borders, hampering intra-African trade for generations. With PAPS digital capability, you can reap the rewards of this transformation by enabling your clients' cross-border payments to be instant and cost-efficient with transactions initiated and settled in local currencies. Fully secure with best-in-class ISO 222 encoding and totally transparent with enhanced analytics for better informed decision making. If you're ready to extend your reach across Africa and accelerate trade across borders for you and your clients, it's time to connect to PAPS. Connecting payments, accelerating Africa's trade. Discover what PAPS can do for you at PAPS.com.